Hey, what's good YouTube? Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, my series Skylines and Modded Let's Play series. We have spent the last three episodes working on the airport, so I believe today we can take a break and go back to the continent and work on the main part of the city. So I'll meet you there. Okay, so here we are at our most recently built district. And I think we can start and zone some stuff over here in the northern part. Perhaps we can expand uh, our residential suburbs. But before that, I want to check out how this area is working. Uh, our traffic is working around this location. So it looks like um, it's working pretty well. Pretty well indeed. We have a few um, cars stopped at the traffic light, which is more than normal. And what I think I can do is uh, apply this logic, uh, given the fact that we already confirmed that uh, it's working. Uh, we can apply this layout to this part um, uh, right across uh, the uh, monorail avenue. As you can see, we have uh, another avenue over here, but it is um, highly intersected by normal roads. So what I think we can do is convert this to an arterial and uh, limit the number of roads that intersect this one. So let's start working on that. So the first thing that I want to do, besides pausing the simulation of course, is go to our public transport tab and delete every single bus line that uh, is currently going on uh, here because we are going to modify this area quite a bit. So let me just see if I can do this. So let's delete this line, delete this line as well, and pretty much every every single one of these uh, lines. And we can keep these ones for the time being. And now that we have deleted the bus lines, we can uh, make the intersections or delete the intersections, so to say. So I will need the road crossing at around here and uh, another one crossing at around here. Oh, this is going to mess up um, our pathway network, but that's fine. So let's just do it. I will move my schools to this um, area so that they are not in the way of our roads. And now we can pretty much finish the connection. Pretty cool. Now let's do the same on the other side. Alright, perfect. And I think this is going to be the only road connection that we will have. Or maybe we'll keep these two. And we delete this one. Perfect. And perhaps we convert um, these ones into overpasses. I think that will work out pretty well depending on the angle. Um, of these bridges but yeah it seems that I can connect it quite well perfect oh wait a second oh there we go and there we go perfect now let's do the same on this side I am having a hard time making these ramps so I believe I will have to break the grid a little bit not too much but uh, perhaps we can make a bridge like an... Um, just delete this. Okay. One here and we need to do the same over here. Perfect. And I'll just connect it diagonally. That's pretty much our only option at this point. And let's do the same just for the sake of symmetry in this intersection as well. Alright, perfect. And you know, I even look the effect that it has created uh, with these diagonal roads. I think it looks pretty neat. But uh, before that, before uh, moving on and replacing the bus lines, uh, we need to... Uh, repair the pathways that we had created so we have one uh, that ended up over here so we need to repair that this segment will be pretty simple to repair I just have 
to connect it directly. No biggie with that. Now the most um, difficult one will be this one. And I'm assuming a straight connection will not work. Of course not, because now we have a road over there. So let's see, how can I do this? Maybe if I make a segment that connects here. Now let's grab this height level and let's make it go down like that. Perfect. And now let's connect it back. And perhaps we can turn all of these into curves. Who knows? Okay, so we have just rebuilt the pathways. Now we just need to make sure that um, it's the right type of pathway. If I'm not mistaken, this was supposed to be a second road. Uh, yes, it was. So let's convert that uh, into a second road. This wall was a second road. And we need to make sure that we make it a second road all the way until the end. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. I didn't smooth the corners uh, here, I don't think it's gonna be necessary, but um, that's something that I can work on in the future if that if it comes to that pretty much. Now let's just um, finish up the pathways, I know that this one was supposed to connect all the way until there. And you know what, perhaps we can even make a um, on-ramp. So maybe over here, I don't really like this. So maybe we can, um, let's see, if I disable the road guidelines, okay, screw that, let's just make a regular uh, connection. Oh, that's, that's hideous, we cannot have that. I'm not sure how many ramps we had connecting to this pathway, but perhaps we can remake it. Let's just make a few, one here, and let's head back into this part of town, and we build another one. Here and another one there. Okay, cool. And now just to uh, wrap it, let's make yet another one that will come here and finally connect back to the ground floor. But this is too high. All right, much better. Okay, finally let's move on to zoning, uh, because this is an avenue I want to apply the same logic that I had over here and put commercial on either sides of the avenue, so we are going to completely restructure this um, side of the city, hopefully that will be okay. I can um, predict that our population is going to decrease quite a bit, but um, hopefully that will be no B. so Let's just make four blocks over here, four blocks over there, and let's just zone all of this with some commercial. All right, now of course we are going to need the office cap. So all of this will need to be offices. Some offices over here. And now, of course, the rest of it can be pretty much residential. And of course, before we resume the simulation, we need to replenish the best lines that we have deleted. So let's just do that. Bus lines are rebuilt, we have managed to make a bus network much more um, efficient than what it was before, or at least it's much simpler. Uh, I've also uh, let these intersections on these uh, two roads, uh, right on, the, on either sides of the main avenue, because traffic in here hasn't been very significant, so I believe that will not be a problem. But anyway, let's just resume the simulation and see this new area develop. But now I think it's finally time for us to move on to a zone the residential suburbs, or at least expand them. I have been studying what we have over here on the right side. 
So we are pretty much just going to copy it. So I am going to start with commercial. I want all of this to be commercial. And we can also make some commercial, uh, probably not here, because uh, there's uh, no way back. This is pretty much the the road that you used to get in and out of the city. So let's just move and zone some stuff over here. And also uh, let's zone all of this for a start. How about that? Great. And what's our water situation? Yes, of course, we are going to need to make some pipes. Let's move on to put in some residential. We have a lot of demand for it, so let's take advantage of that. And I think I'll want all of this to be residential. And I think I'm going to zone the entire layout all of a sudden. So let's just do that and zone some more over here. Perfect. Let's see it develop. It is also a good time for us to start planning our service network uh, while the city develops. Now uh, let's start with, I don't know, how about education? I think we are going to need an elementary school, that's for sure. So I'm just going to place one. Perhaps this is a good location, it's pretty central. Uh, I'm not sure about high school, I believe um, these two are going to be enough to cover this area as well, so we'll give it at that. Regarding health, I think we are pretty much covered with this hospital. And for the death care, I also think we are okay. Now, we are probably going to need a fire station, so I'm going to put one right in the center. Maybe here. Okay. And the police, uh, uh, maybe we should use another one. Maybe a small one that we will place. Um, how about here? Uh, sure, let's put it there. Perfect. And yeah, I think that's it. Now we just need to focus on leisure. And I think I'm gonna put um, four large playgrounds in each and every single one of these corners because they are pretty central. Either that or a small park with trees. So which one looks the best? Let's see, this one has an entertainment of 100 and an upkeep of 8 per week. And the large playground as an entertainment of 125 with an upkeep of 160. Well, the small park is much more cost efficient, but it also occupies a large portion of land. And we could use the entertainment, so I think I'm gonna mix them. I am gonna place, let's see, two parks one here and another one here. I was thinking about putting two large playgrounds, one here and another one there, but I wonder. If the parks are enough to generate enough um, land value, that will not be necessary. So let's see what happens. Well, you know what? I think that's enough. Look how blue these things are. So let's keep it at that and we'll add some more parks if necessary. But for now, let's just keep zoning. We are going to need to zone some more commercial. There we go. And this is also a good time, or a perfect time, to enable the metro stations. And there we go, let's just make sure that we have some stops. Yes, we do, perfect. And let's just keep zoning with some more uh, residential. So perhaps we can zone this entire thing with residential. To have a few more houses. And yes, I know I'm zoning a lot of residential all of a sudden, but um, I believe we're going to be fine. Let's also make some bus lines, shall we? So I think I will want one line starting here, going through here. It will have to cross uh, to this uh, area. I would like to make a stop at the metro station, but I'm not sure if that's going to be okay. Oh, wait a second. We have a pathway over here, don't we? Yes, we do. It connects directly to um, the metro station. So, in fact, I think I can make a line that starts here. That will pretty much cover and, uh, the, metro, the metro system. It will give coverage to that particular area. Let's give it a bit more coverage, shall we? 
let's make this top here and bring this one to here and let's add another one over here and also another one here and let's do the same with um, the clockwise line okay pretty cool and now we can mimic the same stuff on the other side If you have been following my Let's Play series, you already know how I plan my public transport network but I can explain to you real fast, no worries. So the main source or the main way of, of transporting people from one way to the other uh, around the city is by metro. That's the main public transport option and the other public transport options are pretty much used to transport people from their houses to the metro stations which is um, what we have uh, right on the screen so I have a metro line that has only two stops in this district and the way people get to the metro is they either live close by the stations or they go by bus and that's pretty much the role of um, the bus lines the role of bus lines is to get people from their houses and bring them to the metro station and that's why, as you can see in the screen, people are leaving the buses and going into the metro. Or getting out of the metro and go to the bus stops to catch um, the buses to go to their houses. So yeah, this is how I plan my public transport network. Um, I know that a lot of you already knew this, but given the fact that we have um, quite a bit of new subscribers, I felt like I needed to explain this. So let's continue the video. Maybe we can put a large playground here to give it a bit uh, of more land value or at least raise it a bit more. Yeah, that's that's pretty much okay. This area is uh, pretty much blue except for this corner, which is fine. And I think we are going to need some plazas uh, near this commercial area. Maybe one is enough. How about that? Yeah, I think that's fine. And now let's just uh, rebuild the pedestrian pathways that we have destroyed. Perfect. And now we can now finish up the zoning of commercial in this area. That's great. And yeah, leisure is pretty much taken care of. And now let's add some more residential to this area. There you go and these little squares as well. Before wrapping up this episode, I would just like to give you an update on uh, the area that we have rebuilt. So um, I've done some things off camera. First and foremost, I have replaced this avenue for a three lane avenue. And I've also modified the pathway bridges that we have. Uh, I didn't like the way it um, had turned out. So I pretty much demolished everything and uh, rebuilt them again. This pathway or the second road is now completely straight as it was before and the overpass makes a very smooth curve right on top of it so I'm really satisfied with the way that um, turned out but anyway the reason I brought you guys here is because I want to talk to you about this avenue and the traffic so as you can see this road is pretty much crowded with cars but um, I'm not worried with that. I could easily fix this by going here into the um, junctions options and take out all the traffic lights. And that would be, that would be okay. That would uh, smooth out this situation quite a bit. But that's not uh, what I'm going to do. Because if I come over here and I select the routes menu and I select this road, we can see that the majority of cars that are causing traffic are pretty much private vehicles and most of them are coming from uh, this part of the city. So they are entering the city through here and the only way they have to get over this neighborhood is by going through these gigantic interchanges. And one way that we can um, completely erase the traffic or at least ease it is to make another interchange that connects to this um, avenue but uh, from over here, which is in my plans for the future. So uh, I'm not very worried about these traffic issues because I know that in the future when I develop this layout and I make an interchange here that connects to the layout, 
the volume of traffic that is currently flowing through this road is going to dissipate quite a bit. Oh, and by the way, look at uh, this. I really like how the cars are using the six lanes on this one-way avenue. And the way you achieve this is basically by adding um, three possible options. So if you see over here, you get in this avenue, you have the option to turn right, you have the option to go straight ahead, and you have the option to turn left. And that's why um, the cars are using the, all the six lanes, except for this one in the middle. I don't know why, but yeah. Oh, and of course, we cannot forget about our daily park maintenance. So let's just take care of that. Okay, pretty cool. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. On the next episode, we are probably going to continue the development of the residential suburbs on the northern part of the city. And we are probably going to finish them and maybe work on something else if we have the time. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want to follow the development of this city, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, have fun!